In today's class, we would be discussing law and order. Law means the whole system of rules that citizens of a country or organized group of people are expected to obey. Laws are made by the government through the legislature, which is an organ of government in a democratic state or country. Laws are made according to the constitution of a country. Order is defined according to the Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English as a situation in which rules are obeyed and authority is respected. Orderliness therefore is a state of or condition in which the rules or laws are obeyed. There is orderliness when citizens comply with the rules and regulations made by the government. Law and order operate when the citizens do things according to the rules and regulations, which are expected to ensure peace and progress in society. There is a breakdown of law and order when laws are not obeyed and the peace of society is disturbed. Manifestations of Law and Order The following things are some manifestations of orderliness or law and order in society. Due process, it refers to following the rules of the game or operation in anything one does. For example, following the prescribed procedure in making public purchases of materials or award of contracts. Peaceful conduct of elections, there is a manifestation of orderliness when elections are conducted peacefully and votes counted without fear or favor and the winner announced. Queuing culture, in public places like the banks, hospitals, airports and so on, queuing is used to maintain orderliness. People queue up and wait to be served or attended to. Orderly conduct of examinations and avoidance of examination malpractices. Listening skills, there is a need to listen attentively to others in the course of conversation or in a classroom condition. Driving skills, it is important that the skills of driving be acquired, and a driving license obtained, before driving on the highway. Such will forestall careless driving and accidents on the road. Decorum, polite behavior which is appropriate in social situations should be exhibited always. This condition is more common in the courts. Obeying traffic rules and regulations, traffic rules and regulations should be obeyed while driving. Road signs are essential, hence they should be obeyed to ensure safety on the roads. Importance of law and order. Without law and order, people will be lawless. It will also amount to the survival of the fittest, since they will not consider how the other people involved feel. The importance of law and order can be seen in the following areas. There will be peace and people will not be molested. They will be free to go about their work peacefully. There will be progress when there is peace. A peaceful situation enables people to earn a living devoid of chaos and riot. With peace, progress is sure. Protection of human rights, when laws and order are obeyed, human rights will be protected. Justice in society. People are able to get justice from the courts when law and order reign in society. People are punished deservedly and everybody is treated fairly. In society where there is law and order, growth and development are the results leading to political and economic development. Agencies for maintaining law and order. Armed Forces of the Federation. Nigerian Customs Service. Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Federal Road Safety Commission, FRSC. Public Complaints Commission. Code of Conduct, Bureau. Roles of Agencies in Maintaining Law and Order Armed Forces of the Federation The Army ensures that there is adherence to law and order on the land. They protect the country from external aggression. The Navy maintains law and order on the sea. They also ensure that the sea borders of the country are secure. The Air Force maintains law and order in the air. They also control and supervise the airspace. Nigerian Customs Service they collect taxes on goods brought into the country from across our borders. They check the smuggling of goods. At the ports, they check people's luggage to ensure that there are no contraband in them. Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, they deal with the enforcement of laws on financial crimes such as bribery, corruption and money laundering in the country. Federal Road Safety Commission, FRSC they are charged with the responsibility of ensuring road safety on Nigerian highways. It makes sure that traffic laws are obeyed through enlightenment programs for all road users. They also issue citizens that have passed the required test with driver's licenses. Code of Conduct Bureau, 
the Bureau receives declarations by public officers on their assets. It receives complaints of non-compliance with or breach of the provisions of the Code of Conduct Bureau. They ensure that law and order are maintained by investigating complaints and possibly referring them to the Code of Conduct Tribunal. The Public Complaints Commission is empowered to utilize its machinery to investigate complaints lodged by members of the public regarding any administrative action taken by the federal, state, or local governments, public and private institutions, and any official of these entities. Roles of Citizens in Maintaining Law and Order Citizens are expected to maintain law and order through the following. Obeying rules and regulations and lawful authority. Citizens must obey and also carry out their civic responsibilities. Reporting crimes and criminals to the police. Acting as witnesses in court. Protecting public property. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.